Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to play a really pretty little song called Homecoming Queen by Kelsey Ballerini. This is not too hard of a song. It's, mm, if you're just, a, it's kind of intermediate, but it doesn't have any bar chords. So if you're just above a barely beginning level and you really love this song and you practice, you could probably do it because it's not that tough. It's the same picking pattern and the chords are not that tough. Okay, I'm going to play it through one, actually, yeah, I'm going to play it through once and let her sing because it's not blocked. Woohoo! So I don't have to sing. And then we'll go back and show you how to do it step by step. Oh, you can go to rainydayguitar.com and you can print off the words with the chords. And I've got pictures of kind of the unusual chords that you might not know, but they're not hard, okay? All right. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. <clears throat> Long beginning, so I did miss the intro. start with our capo on two and there's this main pick that you're going to use for just about every chord. Let me kind of walk you through the chords. This is a C2. There's a C plus your pinky on adds that second string in that in that scale there. So but you can play like this with your pinky on but it's just so much easier to put your ring finger on the second string third fret, your tall man on the fifth string third fret and your pointer on the fourth string second fret and I have a picture of that right there in case you forget okay so all the, these chords are at the top because they're kind of unusual but once you get the hang of them they're really easy and really fun okay so our chord progression is this except we're never going to play one in this song okay so there's your C2 then to go up to a G5 we're just going to take these two fingers and move them up one set of strings so now my pointer is on the fifth string second fret and my tall man is on the sixth string third fret that gives me my g5 okay I'm, again i'm not playing one so i don't even have him on the picture though technically i should put my pinky on but i'm not because i'm not playing one so it doesn't matter i'm just going to focus on these for this song it makes it easier then your e minor seventh 
is you're going to lift up your pointer and your tom in and just have your ring on the second string where he's been. Okay, and those three chords, that's the basic, the basis of this song. Okay, then there's one, there's one more that, well, there's, there's one more. The, those three chords have the same pick. There is one more, but it has a slightly different pick. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a C, but up two frets, okay? So my pointer's on the second string, third fret, tall man on the fourth string, fourth fret, and ring finger on the fifth string, fifth fret. Four and four, five and five. But just think of a C, but land it two frets higher than you do, okay? All right, and this pick is, this particular pattern is slightly different, but the first three have the exact same pattern. So, all right, let's start with them. Okay, so we're gonna go, and I've got this typed out for you in case you forget it. And when you're practicing it, that kind of helps to look at it and really practice it. So this C2 is five, maybe even, I'm gonna read it just so I don't say it wrong. Five, three, five, two, five, three, five, three. Now it is not stiff. That's not it, it's kind of a, I'm gonna erase that just like that or not. I shouldn't, I don't know, okay. That sounds better. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go five, three, five, two, five, three, five, three. But I'm giving a little pause. Da 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 da. I'm not going da 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 da. I kind of go one pause, two, three pause. Well, five pause, three, five. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna sit here and put my pauses in. Five pause, three, five pause, two, five pause, three, five pause, three. Okay. Okay. Then I'm gonna do the exact same thing with my. I'm gonna jump my. That's on your C2. And I'm gonna jump up to my G5 that I showed you before. But now instead of five, I'm gonna play six. Six three two six three. No, I said it wrong. Six three six two six three six three. Let me do it again. Six three six two six three. That's typed up for you so you can see what pick to do on the G5. Again, there's a little tiny bit, tiny bit of a syncopation or a little tiny pause. Wow, hit the wrong one. Okay, then you're gonna lift those guys up and you're still exact same pick. Six is your new bass note, but it's open. Okay, six, three, six, two, six, three, six, three. Oh, uh, said that wrong. Six, three, two. No. It's easier to play than say six, three, six, two, six, three, six, three. And I'm even reading it. <laughs> All right. And then the D4, see where my ring finger is? That's where I'm going to put my pointer and just land a C. Okay. So that kind of actually helps me because I just kind of know right where to go. Okay. And it, gra it gets on a lot faster. If you can land a C, that, that is so instead of having to go like this. So get where, and I'll tell you, if you're a beginner and you want to land a C faster, practice instead of going two, four, five, practice going five, four, two. Your, your pointer is really strong. Your tall man is pretty good. You're finger is then your pinky's good the ring finger is seriously the weak link okay we would vote him off the island so if you make him be the leader and be strong everybody else will follow and land into place so if you make him be last he'll always be last and you'll never get there fast the other problem is five is your bass note on a c so you need to get there fast so you've got to land it with your ring finger except on this song you know you still want to land it, but you just got to think oh, he's on the, that dot, five and five, just about right there, if you have to go backwards. But if you can grab it, your pointer's on there, that's where you're going to be. Okay, now this pick is the one that's slightly different. You're going to go, and this is your D4. So here's what a D, it's kind of like that. why this is a D4, sus4, technically. Okay, but I'm just calling it a D4. Okay, so you're gonna, the pick on this one is five, three, four, two, five, three, five, three. Let me do that again. Five, three, four, two, five, three, five, three. Your fingers don't move. Hold on, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, okay. I, I do move my fingers because I've got my ring on one, tall man on two, pointer on three. And then I jump up here. 
and I have to move off of one, two, three, and I have to go to two, three, four. So I'm moving my ring up to two, three, four. That's the only tricky part of the song. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. You can move your fingers around another way if it's better for you, but that's what works for me. And then I jump back to this. I'm getting this echo. I'm getting echo from this guy, okay, and I don't like that. You can hear that echo. He's still kind of ringing there, and I want him to be quiet. So I have a little trick that you can do. You reach over with your thumb, okay. So if you're, if he's ringing, you can do that. But the easiest way to mute him, I'm just discovering, is when I come in and get my fingers here. I just take this thumb and I just go boop. I just kind of take him and bend him up and touch that sixth string. Watch. Let's see. Let's see. Ah! Okay, hold on. I got it. See me? I just kind of went like that. And I just plucked him. Let's try it when we're done. so you can kind of see my emotion, but that's what I'm doing. It's messing me up. So I take my thumb and I just kind of just just touch him with my, I kind of, I usually don't grab that much, but I'm going to kind of push my thumb in there a little bit more just to mute or reach up a little bit and mute that six string so you don't get that ugly. It's, it's not supposed to be, it's not part of that chord. You don't want him there. You want the nice D sound. Okay, now there's one other little trick to this song, and other than that, the whole song is done, okay? It just keeps going over and over and over again. So you're going to go, let me just repeat this, you're going to go on your C, I'm going to count it out for you before I show you the, the last little thing, okay? So on a C2, 5, 3, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 3, go up to your G, 5, 6, 3, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 3, open, 5 and 6, 6, 3, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 3, reach up here five three four two five three five three then you just jump back and you repeat that not tough let's see I lost my place Practice the, you have to practice jumping from your this guy to there and this guy back. I did have to practice that. As you can see, I just messed up again. That's okay. Keep practicing. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you the only part that's different is the introduction, and I actually blew it in the demo when I was showing you in the intermediate part. So the introduction and the little guitar interlude don't do this D up here. They do a different D. They do a different D4, but... Rather than put another picture of a D4 that looks exactly like my E minor 7th, because that's all you need. So this is my D4. So here's my D. Again, this is a normal D sus4 that most of us are used to playing. La la, we need that note. Okay, but since we're not playing one, we can't get it from there. So we gotta get it from the second, third string, I mean. Okay, so and I'm so I'm gonna hit open four, which is my bass note for a D. progression this is a D4 but it looks exactly like my E minor 7th and I didn't want to put another chord that looks exactly like the E minor and you're gonna go wait those two are the same why do they have a different name <laughs> whatever it's the chord progression is C it's always a C always a G E minor well E minor and always a D that's just that's like in every song okay and this is a form of a D but I'm gonna call it an E minor 7th just because I didn't want to confuse anybody. I probably just did. Anyway, so all I'm going to do on this one is after I've gone, this is my introduction. G, 5, E minor 7th. I'm going to grab 6 because my bass on an E minor is a 6. I'm going to stay there and I'm going to grab the 4th string, okay? 4, 3, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 3. That is what I am clearly hearing on the introduction and in the guitar interlude, okay? And then they go back and repeat it. Okay, so 
I'm going to play this really slowly, kind of talking you through it from top to bottom, from beginning to end, okay? And try to sing. Wahoo! Love that part. Not a soprano. I'm going to, my voice kind of misses some of those high notes. So just, just okay, just go with it. Here we go. Okay. Introduction. Hopefully I don't blow it this time like I did. <laughs> I was trying to mute that string as he was ringing. Oh, and I, okay. And I blew the singing part because I was talking to you. Okay, not going to sing. I'm not going to talk to you until I get in. Here we go. It's hard to sing at the same time. It's another instrument. Hey, hey, homecoming queen. Okay, now I'm starting with my pattern. Why did G5 fly? Somebody's mean. E minor 7th. Jump up and do that D4. Let's see. Do people assume back to the C2? You're always alright, G5. It's so good at smiling. Most of your life, D4. Let's see. Looking darn back to your C2. Darn good in the dress. Zipping up the mess. That's G5. Now E minor 7.
why I'm rainy day guitar, not rock star guitar. Here we go. Homecoming Queen, excuse my vocals, I'm so sorry. Hey, you can go to rainydayguitar.com and you can print off the words with pictures of the chords, picking patterns, super helpful, and the chords above each chord where, where you go, okay? Plus a couple little tips along the way. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. For more fun songs, go to rainydayguitar.com. <laughs>